Hi everybody, this is Avril Kifren. Today I'm going to show you how to increase uh, your FPS uh, slash performance in the Ark Survival Evolved game. Uh, you have four different ways to increase your performance. Uh, so I will start with the first one. The first one is pretty easy. It's when you start the game with Steam. You double click on it and you have a couple of options over there. If you have 16 gig of RAM and more, just play Ark Survival normally. Don't change anything. If you have 4 gig to 8 gig of RAM, you should use this option over there, launch low memory 4 gig, okay? And if you have less than that, you should use extremely low memory. So that's about it. Second option is you can set um, a launch option in Steam. So you click, right click on the game properties, set launch option. In here, you just have to write Use all available cores, space, SM4, space, T3D10. Okay, this, this will be available in my description of my video. So, uh, what it's doing, it's uh, Arc Survival Evolve used the new uh, UT4, uh, the uh, Unreal Engine, uh, the, last, the latest version. But right now, the game is not well optimized, so it's just using one core. If you use... Uh, this command to launch option, you have some change that chance that uh, the game will run with two or three or even four core on your computer, so it can do a little difference. Uh, now SM4, it's the shader that the game is using. Normally, it's using the SM5, but with the SM4, honestly, you will gain. I, me on my side, I gain 10 FPS just to add that um, because you will have almost the same graphic but you will have a really good increase with your FPS so you should use this the last one is just to boot the game in DirectX 10 uh, because normally uh, Arc is running in DirectX uh, 11 so for that one it's almost the same that this one because SM4 is DirectX 10 but you have got a, a other option with that one like lighting effects and stuff like that so uh, it's better for your FPS um, third option, you can go straight up in the game, so I will boot the game, and you can change your graphic inside of um, the game. So now I'm in the game, so you have a lot of options that you can change. For example, resolution, uh, just play whatever resolution you want to play, it doesn't change it. It changed a little bit, but honestly, uh, if you always play Full HD, just play Full HD. Uh, here, resolution scale, This is, that one is very important, so you can move it and you will see a big difference over there, so mine is over there. Uh, the other one that is pretty big is view distance, that one is really crazy, if you put it at low you will see a, re a good chunk of increase, maybe 10 to 12 FPS, so it's pretty big. Anti-aliasing too, you can maybe set medium depending on your card and low, but you can gain 5 to 7 XP, uh, FPS over there. Post processing, same thing, 2 to 4 FPS. Uh, it's, it's a good chunk if you want to change it. Uh, general shadow is in Terran shadows. Those ones are crazy. Just If you don't have a good computer, just put low every, everywhere. It changes a little bit the feeling of the game because you don't have shadows. But you will see, uh, you will gain, again, 10 to 12 FPS, so it's pretty good. Same thing, uh, texture, you can gain maybe 2 to 4 FPS on that one. S sky quality, uh, you can have a good chunk over there, 5 to 7, depending of uh, your computer. Uh, and it's for me, it's not an important setting, so just put it over there. Or if you have a really bad computer, just put it uh, at the minimum. After that, all those bugs over here, honestly, uh, they're like, the game is not well optimized and they're just raping your computer. So... <laughs> Uh, just uncheck everything and you can if, if you want to test it just test it just do one by one but you will see they all uh, give you a big chunk of FPS motion blur is not like a really cool effect for me and you can gain a lot of FPS with that same thing with di uh, distance field um, what is it a uh, dynamic test lesson too uh, that one is not good for AMD card. Uh, it's pretty. It's better on. But depending on your card, if you have a new generation, it's kind of good with AMD. But uh, in the old version of, if you have an old card, it's not that good. So uh, same thing here. Distance field shadowing. Just uncheck everything. So if you follow those steps, the setup launch, the in-game uh, setting, uh, you should be good. Um, 
because honestly you will see the graphic are not looking very great when you, when you lower all those options and uh, I will show you the fourth option this is like the last resort uh, if you don't have like I don't know you're running the game at 12 uh, at 12 or 20 FPS you can go straight up inside of uh, the file in uh, your document I will show you what to do and how to do it So the fourth option is you can right click on the game, click properties, uh, after that you click uh, local file, browse local file. You have to click on shooter game, um, doo -doo -doo. what is it, yeah, saved, uh, config, window, no editor, and you click on the game user settings. So here in the notepad you will have all your setting in the games okay so sometimes inside of the game you have the option to say for example low high medium epic but here you can straight up say I don't want that option in my game for an example shadows so when you see like here uh, shadow quality zero zero mean you don't have it it's like really like you have nothing so uh, zero mean less graphic and if your number is higher than like for example 3 4 is your graphic is better so if you ha you have like a really bad computer you can go to game user setting and just put zero everywhere view distance quality zero anti aliasing quality zero all those quality stuff texture effect true sky just put zero everywhere okay and it will really improve your graphic and also you have a couple of options here that you can uh, change for example motion blur it's false false mean it's not uh, activate on the game if it's activated you will see true okay uh, but those options are in the uh, in the main option um, the uh, setting option inside of the game so normally if you don't check the box here you, you will see false so make sure that you adjust all your setting uh, if you have any question for a uh, graphic question or hardware question, don't hesitate to uh, comment in, my, uh, in the comment section of my video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel, please. So, uh, that's about it. Thank you for uh, listening, guys, and have a nice day. Ciao!